Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time taking a brief look at Walken Street, Pattaya. Now this video was filmed on Saturday evening, April the 30th, 2022, which is just two weeks ago. So it's, it's quite up to date. I don't think anything's going to have changed by the time I post this video. So at a first glance, Walken Street, which has suffered badly during the pandemic, looks like it's on the way up. A new sign. And when you enter the place, you know, there seems to be, it seems to be like the old days have returned, but it's a bit deceptive, really. The further you go into Walken Street, the more you realise the pandemic has hit hard, and this place is not going to recover overnight. It's going to take quite a while. So the initial bright lights of Walken Street as you enter, you quickly hit a patch for about 100 metres or so, which is really darkness. Not the bright lights of Walken Street that you're used to. Let me say that this isn't typical of Pattaya at the moment. Walken Street is lagging behind, but other areas of Pattaya seem really quite lively right now. The Soiba Cow area, part of Beach Road, Tree Town, Soi Chayapoon is well on the way up, very, very lively area, but this is really quite sad here. There you go, you've got some bright lights amongst all the doom and gloom. Skyfall, been around for a long time, one of the old stalwarts of Walken Street. Some of the side stories off Walken Street aren't a great deal of fun right now either. These places used to be filled with fun and activity and energy, and now they look like dark alleyways. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about Walken Street in recent times. Mainly the properties that are built on the seafront side. There are claims that these properties have been built illegally. And they could well be reclaimed pretty soon. If you were to actually look at some of these properties from the, from the sea, they look very, very precarious. A lot of them are built on stilts. Doesn't look very, very good at all. So at this moment in time, how much of Walken Street is actually open? Well, I would say, wild guess, probably no more than 30%. I mean, this bit here is lively, but, you know, you quickly go into, you know, a dark patch again. As for these go-go bars, well, it's nice to see that the licensing laws are getting relaxed a little bit. But certain places, especially the side streets, are really, really quite grim. Things are changing rapidly with the rules. Cars are being banned in the evening time in Walken Street, which is probably a good sign. A sign that it's getting back together again. But, you know, things are moving slowly. I tried to get into a go-go bar uh, recently, and they insisted that I take an ATK test before they allowed me uh, entry, which I, I wasn't going to do. Before I get accused of being too negative, let me say that I really, really, really like Walken Street. I've always liked this place since my first visit to Bataya. It's, um, you know, to, some say it's a tourist trap. But I, I've always maintained that even though it's more expensive here when the going is good, you get a better quality of entertainment. Just about everything from the live bands to the go-go bars is a better quality than you will get elsewhere in Pattaya. In Walken Street, you get what you pay for. Not everybody sees it that way. 
even before the pandemic, it was becoming fashionable uh, to, to knock Walking Street and say that it's outdated. It's just for tourists. Some said that the real action now is in Cyber Cow, LK Metal, those areas. Okay, so those areas really, really are lively and have made a comeback the way Walking Street hasn't. But, you know, I'd still like to see Walking Street return to its former glory. But it's not going to happen overnight. How about you? Can you see Walking Street springing back to its old self anytime soon? I can't. Somehow I think all these closed bars are going to be closed for quite a while. Before they reopen again, the owners will want to make absolute sure what is happening. Before people start investing money in these bars again, they will want to know for sure that there isn't going to be another lengthy lockdown. The bogeyman hasn't quite gone yet. He could easily return. <laughs>